now talk to me about, or talk to us about when you started walking, were you, were you just walking to like, were you walking a slow pace? Were you walking and working out? Were you sweating a lot? What were you just getting your heart rate? What was your kind of your thoughts with that and goal? You know, the, the only thing I would say probably for like the first six months, I was just walking at a normal pace um, because I was really trying to focus on hearing the instructions that I was seeking. So um, that was my, my, my main focus. So I wasn't really like going at a high rate of speed, wasn't even considering thinking about my heart rate. Um, I did, wasn't really walking to lose the weight, honestly. I was walking because I was trying to get God to show me what I needed to do. And that was like the most peaceful place. And, you know, going to the gym at that point, I was too ashamed because I was too big. I felt like I'm fat. I don't need to be at the gym, which is where I should have been. Um, but um, so I just started walking, you know, and I was just seeking an answer. So I just, the first six months, that was it. And then I started picking up the pace, doing a little power walking. And, um, but I was faithful. I walked every day, every day. You, I feel like I have a whole sermon coming on called In the Meantime. I, I, <laughs> because in the mean, because what you said was, you weren't concerned about heart rate. No, you didn't have no Fitbit. You weren't trying to break nope. a sweat. You just <laughs> said, I am seeking an answer. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and walk. And because right. here's the thing, I'm saying this for the people that will ever watch this video. It ain't never gonna hurt us to walk, right? No. Um, it's, now I get that people have ailments and different things like that. We can get a treadmill, we can elliptical, we can get a bike, a stationary bike. But in the meantime, as we're seeing yeah. this, get on that. If you like watching TV, bike for an hour. Keep the keep the keep the revolution per minute low just to yeah. get going. And so you mm -hmm. were seeking an answer and in the meantime, doing the work. Yes. Now see, and what happened was which I didn't know, that's when the shifts, I started having shifts. And, and here's what happened. My mind started to shift. My body started to shift. The transformation was happening. And my soul was shifting because my relationship with God was, was growing even stronger. So I had a mind, body, soul shift. So I love it, which birthed your whole business name, right? Which birthed <laughs> yeah. the whole business name, right? Ooh, God, don't play with stuff like that. <laughs> so what would you say started to shift first? my mind okay and, and talk to us about what was in your mind what was shifting um what was shifting was my limited belief um that that i had um about my weight um and i and i really my limited belief was that if it had not been for the acid reflux i probably would have stayed where i was Mm. And, 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 and not had the, the urgency to do, to do something different, um, only because I found out about my, my other numbers. Um, so I think that was, that was, was key. And, and what, so, so you, you started changing some limiting beliefs. Mm -hmm. What else started to shift? Were you, were you in those first six months, were you losing weight? I was, I started losing inches. I could tell in my clothes. Okay. So, so, so when, once my mind started to shift, because once my mind started to shift with, with my limited belief um, that I could actually lose the weight, because I, I felt like even though I was doing it, I still felt in my mind gloom and doom. I still felt that. So I had to really work on reframing that, that thought process and, right. and actually see myself um, being in a better place, being more healthy. Um, so I had to change what I actually saw before it happened. So, so were you, were you, did you find it, were you heavy your whole life? Were you, were, oh, or was it, so you were, no. you weren't, and did, was it like a, a decade or, you know, in a, a particular time, maybe from your thirties to your fifties, where you started to gain more weight? Did it just happen over time? You know, um, I got married at 50. I got married on my 50th birthday. Oh, wow. <laughs> and, um, and, um, and it was, it was during that time. So between 50 and 55 is when I gained the weight. Okay. Okay. So, but, so but, you were, but, but you, my, so yeah, I was always, that, I was athlete. Yeah. I was a cheerleader, basketball, baseball. I mean, you name it and I did it. Yeah. And then, and so you gained the weight and it just slowly started happening. And so let me tell you why I asked that, because there are some people who have been um, maybe heavier for longer periods of time. Mm -hmm. And, and that was really where I was, why I was asking that question, but the reality of it, 
is that you were saying that the, the starting the work without even saying, I got to lose five pounds by the end of this month, or I right. got to do this. It was, it was like, look, I got to get healthier and this is what I have to do. And so I'm going to start doing it. Rain, mm -hmm. sleet or snow. This is what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. And that's just the reality of it. And we'll let the rest kind of fall into place. Is that kind of how you did that's it? That's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened because I didn't concern myself with the weight. I, I, I you know, once my mind started to shift then I started focusing on, um, the rest of my life, you know, like reframing other things in my life, like, you know, some emotional baggage that I had going on. So I started dealing with that. And, and of course, as a result of walking, and this was just as a result of walking, the pounds started coming off, you yeah. know? So I got a, I got a three in one deal. You know what I mean? Mind, body, soul. One of the things that I've learned, I call myself the mindset doctor. One of the things that I've learned is that when you whatever brings a person to get a life coach or brings a person to get a therapist, the, the thing that they're digging through can oftentimes be a, be a, um, be a kind of a thread through the rest of their life. So you talked about one, you were starting to get healthy and you said your mind started getting healthy and it started getting healthy in other places, dealing with old relationships, maybe dealing with some old traumas, dealing with some old, because you made a decision in one area, that's it started right. manifesting itself in other areas. That's what mm -hmm. I'm hearing you say. That's exactly what happened. And it does start with the mind. It really does. And you know, when, when people come to me and they say, we know I want to, I want to program, I want to plan. Um, usually I go through like at least 90 days of just doing mindset coaching, you know, because if I focus on them losing weight and then, you know, you have people who want to get on the scale. It's like, you know, i never did a scale, never owned a scale, just never did a scale. It's like, you will see the results if you just do certain things, you know, you don't have to focus on the weight loss. So in 90 days, guess what? You're going to be like, Oh my God, I lost 10 pounds and we didn't even do a program. Exactly. You right. know, so, so yeah. I, I like how you said that is you took, you took your mind off of the goal of losing weight and put it on the goal of fixing the problem and getting healthier and all of the stuff just started happening. It's, and then you got, like you said, you got better with it. And then now you're picking up the pace and now you're doing more things and stuff like that. So then the stressors got less and then the rest can get better. And all those things just started to happen as a result of that. Yeah. How, how much yeah. did you walk a day other than the 30 miles, which is crazy. <laughs> how much did you, were you walking a day? Were you working a certain amount of time? Um, you know, I would do at least two hours. I would do at least two hours a day. Hold on, Coach G. Y'all, I said at the beginning, Coach G was crazy. Uh, <laughs> so she decided, what I love is when you get to that point of being sick and tired of being sick and tired. So yes, you said two hours a day, I am going to exercise my body. That's what mm -hmm. I'm going to do. Because and you I'm know, we, it. and we plan for so many mm -hmm. things. And so yeah. you said, this is what's important for me. Girl, you bad to the bone. I'm there. I'm at the gym six days a week, six days. Two hours, six days a week. Yes. I <laughs> because I want to maintain, I want to maintain my good health. I do. My mother is 84. Um, I actually relocated back to North Carolina to come back and take care of her. Um, she was, uh, the process of kidney failure had started because nobody was here to go to the doctor with her. The doctor had her on medication that she didn't need. Um, so it started kidney failure. So I had to move back home. So I moved back from Texas to North Carolina to take care of my mother. Um, she was, potassium level was off the chart at the point of having a heart attack. Mm. Um, so I nursed her back to health and, um, you know, changed her, the way she eat, um, getting her moving around a little bit more. You know, she was, I mean, she, she does good, you know, she still does her own thing. Um, but when she was sick, she wasn't able to do that. Um, you know, and just was able to rearrange all the things that needed to be done, found her a new primary care uh, the doctor was in agreement with me with most of the medication that she was on that she didn't need. So she did take her off of most of the medication. Um, it, like I said, her eating is different. Her sleeping is different. She's consuming more water. She's moving around a little bit more. Um, I took her back for a physical last week. And the doctor says, wow, the turnaround is incredible since September. And um, she says, you you have a good another good twenty five years left on this earth because oh, that's good, how good, good of a good. Yeah, 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 
just doing the things and getting things in order and advocating yeah. for yourself or having someone yeah. to advocate for you, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so Coach G, wherever a person may be right now, we understand from what you're saying that it starts with the mindset. So what is something, what is one of the easiest things uh, a person can do where it is, because I want to start from the, the, uh, an, a level playing field and the level playing field is I don't like where I'm at physically right now. That makes mm -hmm. it level. It don't matter if you need five pounds or 55 pounds or 155 right. pounds. We can right. all say if you're at that place. So if that's what I'm saying, what can I do and what can I start now to jumpstart myself on my journey of health and wellness? <clears throat> well, you know what? I usually ask people a couple of questions. Okay. Um, and the first thing I ask them is, um, you know, I'll say, you know, um, do I have your permission to ask you something personal? And they usually say yes. And I ask them, do you pray? Mm. Nine times out of 10, they say yes. And I say, can you walk? And they say yes. I says, well, let's put the two together. I need you to walk and I need you to pray. I need you to walk. I need you to pray. That's all I need you to do. Because if you do that, number one, you're going to get some answers to some other things that's going on in your life. And number two, I can guarantee you, if you keep doing it long enough, you're going to see what's going to start to come off. Well, you know, and I that love that. Simple. I love that because you, you are going to be authentically you and be able to say, this is who you work with. And, and if a person doesn't pray, okay, can you start? Are you against praying or whatever the case may be? But, and, and here is the thing, cause I'm, I, I, I believe in it as well. Can you think happy thoughts? Can you put good thoughts and good energy? Can you, can you say affirmations to yourself? Can you talk about the future of where you want to be in your dreams? Like all of that is fair game because you're talking about putting, you're talking about being connected to the source, to the father, and then putting good juju inside of yourself while you walk in. And you're saying you can just mm -hmm. walk. Now, how much time does a person, should a person start with? And please don't tell me no 15 <laughs> miles Oh, gee, could you know that's crazy? It's crazy. You know what? A, a lot of a lot of people, um, you know, even when I say to people, well, can you do 30 minutes? I don't know. I said, so I make it simple. I said, okay, well, here's what we'll do. 30 minutes is too much for you. So let's do this. And it's actually the same thing. But let's do this. Since 30 minutes is too much. Walk outside your door and walk 15 minutes in any direction. Any direction. I don't care what <laughs> And then come back home. You just did 30 minutes. Right. I now, love anybody the cheat code. Can, anybody can do that. Anybody can do that, right? And I love people, that. And people never argue. They can't argue with it because it's so simple. Yeah, I, I, I freaking love that. I think I can use it. Is <laughs> I just want you to walk 15 minutes in one direction. That's all. You only got 15 minutes of work to do. <laughs> That's it. Oh come my back. God, I love that. And and what I also love is you said I, I have a, a a friend of mine back in Cali, Dr. Rowe, um, who I love dearly, who lost I don't know, it, I think over 150 pounds. You know what he said? He started with walking. He walked yep. to the corner. That was as far as he can go. And then and he yep. got up to five yep. five miles a day. Right. Right. And it was just, you start, but you do it and you do it and you do yes. it. You don't make excuses for it. You just do it. It's going to hurt. And you got to figure out how to work around it. Cause then we fall off the wagon and then we don't want to get back up. Yeah. Yeah. I but love I, what you said. But yeah. But, but that's, that's the easiest way to do it. And um, you know, because you can't, you can't go wrong with that. You're still getting it in. You're still getting a good 30 minutes. And if you can stay, stay consistent with that, it's going to lead to other things. You know, I tell people, and, 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 and I tell them, prove me wrong. You know, if you don't believe me, just prove me wrong. Prove me wrong that if you walk 15 minutes in one direction and 15 minutes back home, that your sleeping habits aren't going to change, your eating habits aren't going to change, your intake of water, all that is going to change just from you walking 30 minutes a day. All of it. Yeah, how much kidding. how much time do you think that people that are starting have to start with because you because here we we are a microwave generation <laughs> and if i listen to coach g and after seven days i don't see no results i'm saying she's full of it because you know we got to have it fast we didn't get it took us a long time to gain the weight but we needed to come off fast right so how much time <laughs> do people have to give it you know I, I tell people after 90 days if you're consistent for 90 days you will see results and what happens is the results is what makes you keep doing it. 
Yes. It's not Coach G. It's, it's not because I send people text messages five days a week to keep them in that space of keeping their mind focused. Um, but it's not that. It's the result. If I get you to the point where you see the results, boo, it's a wrap. It's right. a wrap. Right. Because results beget results. You know, you start look, don't start looking cute. I'm going to tell you, you can't talk to me if I, when I start looking cute, <laughs> right? <laughs> talk to my people, have your people talk to my people when I get okay, cute, right? Exactly. And, and you're right, because the results, you start seeing it, you start feeling better, um, yes. you start doing the things that you need to do. Mm -hmm. um, 